Hello Pharma aspirants welcome or welcome back to GDC channel in this video we are going to discuss a detailed information about beta lactam antibiotics so the beta lactam antibiotics are the class of antibiotics consisting of all antibiotics agents that contain a beta lactam ring a beta lactam ring in their molecular structure so any antibiotic which contains a beta lactam ring in the structure is beta lactam antibiotics the structure of beta lactam ring is this wherever this ring is present the antibiotic will be beta lactam antibiotic now the beta lactam antibiotics are divided into five categories on the basis of modification in the ring the first one is penicillin penicillin contains pinam ring in the structure pinam stands or indicate beta lactam ring plus thiazolidine ring beta lactam and thiazolidine ring together is known as pinam this is beta lactam ring and this part is the thiazolidine ring this is the basic structure skeleton of penicillin after penicillin another classification of beta lactam ring in cephalosporins this cephalosporin contains cfam cfam ring in the structure here cfam means beta lactam ring and dihydrothiazine ring this is the beta lactam ring and this is dihydrothiazine ring another one is clavulinic acid the clavulinic acid contains oxapenam ring in the structure that is beta lactam ring and oxazolidone ring beta lactam ring and oxazolidone ring carbapenam contains carbapenam ring that is beta lactam and pyrolidone ring beta lactam ring and pyrolidine ring so in slight detail we could remember that penicillin contains pinam ring in the structure beta lactam is common so i'm not going to repeat it again and again so penicillin contains pinam ring especially thiazolidine ring cephalosporin contains cefam ring and contains dihydrothiazine ring clavulinic acid contains oxapenam ring also oxazolidine ring and carbapenam contains carbapenam ring that is pyrolidine in its structure along with beta lactam ring another category is monopenams which contains only single ring the mode of action or mechanism of action of beta lactam antibiotics in this we will going to discuss about the components of bacterial cell wall as well as mechanism of action of the antibiotics so this is the structure in this structure the l alanine is converted into d alanine in the presence of enzyme alanine racemase this alanine racemase is responsible for the conversion of l alanine to d alanine this is converted by the enzyme l alanine racemase further d alanine is converted into d alanine d alanine complex by the presence of alanine ligase so alanine ligase is responsible for the conversion of d alanine into the d alanine d alanine complex this is the one side the another side is that udp g that is uridine diphosphate glucosamine and further is converted into udp m that is uridine diphosphate muramic acid or 
nuramic acid is converted by the presence of enol pyruvate transferase enol pyruvate transferase is enzyme which converts udpg into udpm further this forms this udpm and d alanine d alanine complex forms together a complex which is known as udpmpp that is uridine diphosphate nuramic acid and polypeptide complex this is converted into mpp and further gmpp that is glucosamine muro nuramic acid polypeptide and this is further goes out of the cell membrane this pp stands for bacteriotrinol which is a lipid present at the cell wall so the utp does not cross the membrane and is further recycled this utp is not able to form this or cross this cell membrane so it is again recycled this is the mechanism of action of formation of glucosamine muramic acid polypeptide chain further this glu gmpp complex or pentapeptide is converted into the chain elongation by transglycolase enzyme then this this is the structure for glucosamine muramic acid pentapolypeptide and the cross linking of this chain is responsible or on the basis of transpeptidase transpeptidase is responsible for the cross linking of the glucosamine and muramic acid and this transglycolase is responsible for the chain elongation this single unit is converted into various units by transglycolase enzyme this was the detailed structure about this bacterial cell wall component and mechanism now the mechanism of actions of cell wall inhibitors the first one is that vancomycin vancomycin is a drug that inhibits chain elongation by inhibiting the enzyme transglycolase beta lactam antibiotics inhibits the cross linking by inhibiting transpeptidase enzyme and cycloserine drug inhibits this alanine ligase or alanine racemase so the formation of complex d alanine d alanine is not formed cycloserine bacitracin directly inhibits this bacteriophenol lipid at present at the cell wall and phosphomycin is responsible for the inhibition of enol pyruvate transferase enzyme the first drug to be discussed in detail is penicillin classification of penicillin natural penicillin is penicillin g penicillin g is the natural penicillin modified penicillin two drugs which are modified are benzathione penicillin benzathione penicillin and procaine penicillin then the semi synthetic penicillin are first is acid resistant penicillin phenoxy with high penicillin phenoxy with high penicillin and second one is penicillin v penicillinase resistance penicillin penicillinase is the enzyme also known as beta lactamase the drugs are methicillin propsacillin
डाइक्लोक्सासिलीन एक्सटेंटेड स्पेक्ट्रम पेनिसिलीन द फर्स्ट इज एमिनो पेनिसिलीन एम्पेसिलीन बैकेम्पेसिलीन एंड एमोक्सीसिलीन एमोक्सीसिलीन एम्पेसिलीन बैकेम्पेसिलीन कार्बोक्सी पेनिसिलीन द ड्रग्स आर कार्बे पेनिसिलीन कार पेनिसिलीन एंड टिकारसिलीन यूरिडो पेनिसिलीन आर पिप्रासिलीन एंड मेजलोसिलीन दीज वर द डिटेल्ड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पेनिसिलीन now the mechanism of action is udpg is converted into udpm by the presence of enol pyruvate transferase and at another side the d alanine plus d alanine complex is formed by alanine ligase so this complex is converted into pp and ppgm that is pentapeptide glucosamine muramic acid so the trans glycolase enzyme causes the trans glycolase enzyme causes chain elongation then this ppgm is elongated and formed a big structure then trans peptidase enzyme causes the cross linking of this structure so the penicillin is responsible for inhibiting transpeptidase enzyme when the transpeptidase enzyme is inhibited the cross linking of glucosamine and muramic acid that is nam and nag is inhibited and cell wall structure breaks down this is the mechanism of action of penicillin these drugs bind to the penicillin binding protein pbs which is present on bacterial cell wall and inhibits the transpeptidase enzyme which is responsible for cross linking of peptidoglycans that is nam and nag hence cross linking does not takes place result in bacterial cell wall destruction penicillin easily binds to the pbp site that is protein binding site and inhibits transpeptidase enzyme responsible for cross linking of peptidoglycans when the cross linking of pepto peptidoglycans in in is inhibited a simple structure of peptidoglycans like this is formed and the structure is damaged causing the cell wall destruction next class is cephalosporin the cephalosporin is divided into five generation first generation is further divided into two parts parenteral and oral cephalosporins parenteral cephalosporin which is first generation is cefazolin cefazolin oral drug of first generation cephalosporin is cefalexin and cefadroxil second generation cephalosporin parenteral cephalosporins which are second generation are cefuroxime cefaxitine oral antibiotics are cefaclor cefprozil
Sifuroxim. This Sifuroxim could be given as parenteral as well as by oral route, but it is second generation. A question may be asked that which second generation antibiotic of cephalosporin class is given oral as well as parenteral. The mechanism of action of cephalosporin is similar to the penicillin. That is, it inhibits the enzyme transpeptidase which causes the cross-linking. So, when the enzyme transpeptidase is inhibited, the cross-linking of peptidoglycans is inhibited causing the destruction of cell wall. Third generation cephalosporins. Parenteral drugs are cephotaxime. This is T, cefotaxim, after cefotaxim, the next drug is ciftixone, ciftixogmine, ciftriaxone, ciftriaxone, Ciftazidim, Cifopirazone, Oral Antibiotics of Cephalosporin Class of 3rd Generation, Cifexime, Cifpodoxime, Sifdinir, Siftibutin. Fourth generation cephalosporins parenteral are Cifepim and Sifpyrome. Sif Pyrome. Fourth generation cephalosporins are on, only given parentally. No oral fourth generation cephalosporin is present. Fifth generation cephalosporin is Cifteroline, Fosamil. Ciftabiprol, Midocaryl. These are the two drugs, Ciftaroluin, Fosamil and Ciftabiprol, Midocaryl. Fifth generation parenteral drugs. These two are given parenterally. Next is monobactams. The drug is estrionams. Carbapenam, sorry, the monopenam action is same as the penicillin. Now the another drug classification is carbapenams. Carbapenams are classified as imipinem, meropinem, ferropinem, irtapinem, doripinem. The mechanism of action. The carbapenams is hydrolyzed by enzyme dihydropeptidase 1 located on the brush of renal tubular cells. 
विच रिजल्ट इन द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ कार्बापिन द मैकेजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ कार्बापिन slightly different than other antibiotics of beta lactam categories the carbapenem drug is hydrolyzed by the enzyme dihydropeptidase 1 which is present in our body this enzyme is present in the brush of renal tubular cells in our body and this enzyme hydrolyzes the carbapenem drug so we use the dihydropeptidase inhibitor in combination with the carbapenem celestatin celestatin is the drug which inhibits the enzyme dihydropeptidase so when dihydropeptidase is inhibited carbapenem could not be easily hydrolyzed and degraded so carbapenem is always given in the combination with celestatin to modify and amplify its mode of action beta lactamase inhibitor beta lactamase inhibitor the drugs which inhibit the enzyme beta lactamase are clavulic acid soybactam and tozobactam clavulic acid salbactam tazobactam these three drugs are beta lactamase inhibitor now the mechanism of action beta lactamase enzyme produced by bacteria that inactivates the beta lactam antibiotics by opening the beta lactam ring so here it means that beta lactam is the enzyme produced by the bacteria which inhibits the beta lactamase antibiotics at as it opens the beta lactam ring so we give the beta lactamase inhibitor so that beta lactam antibiotics could act better this is the beta lactam ring site for the beta lactamase enzyme at beta lactam ring as it inhibits the action and opens the beta lactam ring so the beta lactamase enzyme open up the ring when beta lactamase inhibitors are given this is the mechanism of action of beta lactamase enzyme this beta lactam ring is opened and formed this structure this ring is opened by beta lactam enzyme which is produced by bacteria when beta lactamase inhibitor is given this enzyme beta lactamase is inhibited and this structure is not opened the last is that other antibiotics which inhibits the bacterial cell wall except or again after the beta lactam antibiotics mnemonic is that bvcpc bachung wutia cannot play cricket b for basitracin v for vancomycin c for cycloserine p for penicillin and c for cephalosporins and carbapenems these were the drugs which inhibits the bacterial cell wall and this is the mechanism of action of various drugs acting on the cell membrane in brief such as beta lactam antibiotics mainly inhibits the enzyme transpeptidase which is responsible for the cross linking of 
polypeptides and vancomycin is responsible for inhibition of transglycolase which causes the trans elongation of polypeptides then this peptide udp is converted into udp m by enol pyruvate transferase which is inhibited by phosphomycin the drug phosphomycin inhibits enol pyruvate transferase which converts udp g into udp m and at other side d alanine l aniline complex together with the udp m forms ppgm pentapeptide glucosamine uramic acid polypeptide allylin ligase enzyme responsible for forming this complex is inhibited by cycloserine and when this complex is elongated by transglycolase vancomycin inhibits this elongation and at last when the cross linking of these polypeptide is done then the beta lactam antibiotics inhibits this transpeptidase then the cross linking is inhibited then the bacterial cell wall forms this structure and the destruction of bacterial cell wall happens that were the details of beta lactam antibiotics thank you for watching this video